guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and today we're going to learn about... Hey, that's my job! Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you about... Car. Never! Russ! Plants, I guess. So what is a carnivorous plant? They're really interesting. Most plants get their nutrients from the soil. Check out Mr. DeMeo's plant parts for kids video for more facts about that. But carnivorous plants get their nutrients from eating things. Any chance they eat blue puppets? Or annoying humans? No! There are many different types of carnivorous plants, and what they eat depends on where they can be found. Well, that makes sense. You're not going to see an underwater carnivorous plant eating a double cheeseburger and chicken nuggets. Exactly. The types of carnivorous plants found underwater eat tiny little microorganisms and even mosquito larvae. What about the ones on land? What do they eat? I think they eat a lot of different stuff. Right, Roberta? Yes! Most carnivorous plants found on land eat things like flies, moths, wasps, butterflies, beetles, and ants. But the one we're looking for today can even eat things like spiders. Caw! 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 What are you doing? I'm pretending to be a bird so a plant doesn't eat me. Caw! Caw! What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. One carnivorous plant out there is known to eat small birds, bats, or even frogs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? You didn't say they eat goats. And even if they do, I have another 43 animal noises in my repertoire, so I'm good. Save it, Blue Brain. He's right over there. Right over where? You who? I'm down here. Boom. I was scared of this little thing? Yeah. I almost made a mess in my pants. What? You don't even wear pants. And now you know why. You think you're pretty tough up there, don't you, Mr. De Ketchup? With your arms and legs and greasy hair. I didn't even say anything. You didn't have to. I see the way you look at plants like me. Hey, speaking of plants, Roberta said there's a plant like you that eats birds. Is that true? Well, I'll tell you. If you apologize. Apologize for what? For looking the way you do. You look like a shaved bear for crying out loud. You know I could easily step on you, right? Ha! Good luck with that! I've got cat-like reflexes. I just... Wait, 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 wait! I'll answer your question. Yes, there is a plant like me that eats birds. It's sometimes called a pitfall trap, but you may know it as the pitcher plant. While pitcher plants have been seen trapping birds before, they more commonly eat foraging insects like ants or beetles. Well, are there different types of pitcher plants? Or maybe like a catcher plant? Or a designated hitter plant? There are actually many different types of pitcher plants that are found all over the world. Here, look at some pictures of them. Cool, but they all kind of look similar in a weird way. That's because they all have a long tube-like structure called a pitcher. Think of a pitcher of a uh, iced tea or lemonade. And just like the iced tea and lemonade pitchers, the pitcher plant's pitcher is filled with fluid. Whoa. Insects are lured to the fluid by its smell. <laughs> they then slip on the pitcher rim and fall into the digestive enzymes below where the plant slowly breaks down its food. So bugs and stuff go to the rim of the plant. Uh-huh. Slip in. Yep. Basically drown. Yes. And the plant slowly breaks it down until basically nothing is left. Yep. Don't get grossed out, Mr. De Ketchup. It's no different than when you eat meat and then it sits in your stomach. Eating the meat isn't the gross part. It's what comes afterwards. Hey, where are most carnivorous plants found? Most carnivorous plants are found in wet areas where the soil has very few nutrients. So, like I said before, 
They get their nutrients from eating stuff. And although these plants may seem exotic or alien-like, most carnivorous plants can be found in the United States. Hey, Roberta, where do we live again? The United States of America. Andy, what are you doing? Booking a flight to Antarctica. So you're gonna go to Antarctica and act like a goat just to hide from a little baby plant? You have a better idea? Well, at least wait until I'm done telling you about the other types of carnivorous plants. The next type are called flypaper traps. Please don't tell me they fly on paper planes and trap things. Ha! Consider yourself lucky, Junior. Most of these types of carnivorous plants have a sticky substance on their leaves that insects get stuck on. Stuck on? What? I said stuck on. Try, try it again. Stir. Stir. Uh. Uh. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Stuck on! I'll give up. While many flypaper trap plants have that sticky substance on their leaves I told you about, another type of flypaper trap plant even has tentacle like structures that it uses to capture its prey. Tentacles? Like an octopus? What is an octopus? It's this weird underwater creature that has like eight arms, these suction cup things, it's weird. And you thought I was weird. Are there any other types of carnivorous plants? Uh-huh. The next type are called snap traps. I would correct you, but it's pointless. Hey, you're a Venus flytrap, so are you a snap trap? Bingo, my good man. The Venus flytrap, which is probably the most famous of carnivorous plants, is known as a snap trap. <laughs> These plants have a leaf-like mouth that snaps closed when an insect lands on it. Are Venus flytraps the only type of snap trap? Nope. There's an underwater type called a water wheel. Basically, it does what I do, but underwater. These things are everywhere. I am never swimming anywhere ever again. Well, if you're really serious about traveling to Antarctica, that's the only continent in the world where carnivorous plants are not found. Now, the next type of carnivorous plants are called bladderworts or bladder traps. Keep scaring me with these plants and my bladder is going to be leaking into my pants. For the last time, you don't wear any pants. Well, I'm a puppet. What do you expect me to walk into Walmart and buy a pair? What? These plants are probably the weirdest of the bunch. They have small bladders at their base that suck and prey like a vacuum. I honestly don't know whether to find this interesting or terrifying. Terrifying. The answer is terrifying. And the final carnivorous plant type is called the lobster pot trap. Huh? Please don't be a lobster monster. Please don't be a lobster monster. Relax, it's not a lobster monster. Huh? <laughs> Say that five times fast. Easy. Lobster monster, lobster monster, mobster, omster, Oscar Mayer winner, I give up. <laughs> Come on, guys, take this serious. I want to know about this type. Lobster pot traps are probably the sneakiest of the carnivorous plants. Similar to the pitcher plants, they lure their prey in with sweet-smelling nectar. Once the prey is trapped inside, it sees light shining through its leaves. It travels towards the light, thinking it's an exit. It keeps traveling and traveling, trying to escape, and then... A lobster comes and pinches it to death. What? Who ever gets... Pinched to death. Me, when my grandma visits? Well, as I was saying, eventually the prey goes too far within the lobster pot trap and is caught and eaten. I have to say, these plants are terrifying, but pretty interesting. Wait, do you think they're pretty or interesting? <laughs> I said they were pretty. Ah, which one is it? Do you have a crush on me or something? Are you gonna take him to prom? Are you gonna ask him to marry him? That's it. I'm going to Antarctica. 16 hours later. Lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster. Lobster monster. 184 days later. Lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster, lobster monster. I need new friends. Hey, Junior, think you know your carnivorous plant facts? Take the carnivorous plant fact quiz on Mr. DeMeo's Teachers Pay Teachers site. 
There's a link in the description box. There's a ton of other quizzes for his other videos, too. Also, want a Mr. DeMeo t-shirt? Or Roberta Pillow? Check out Mr. DeMeo's merchandise on Teespring. There's another link in the description box for that. Last but not least is Patreon. By pledging one dollar, you can see Mr. DeMeo's videos early, pick the next topic he covers, and more. Check the description box for a link. What are you doing? I'm pretending to be a plant, so this- Ah! You're not a plant. <laughs> <laughs> lobster monster, lobster monster, era lobster, era monster, lobster monster, lobster monster. <laughs>